The first thing to keep in mind here, scientists say, is that you do not need to panic about this. This is not the end of days. Yes, there is a 22 ton Chinese rocket that is hurtling around the world at 18,000 miles an hour. And it's gonna hit potentially somewhere in the world once it enters the Earth's atmosphere, which is believed to likely happen between May 8th, which is Saturday, May 9th, Sunday, Mother's Day, or May 10th. The Secretary is aware and, uh, and he knows that Space Command is tracking, uh, the, literally tracking, uh, the, the, this rocket debris. And it's, it's almost the body of the rocket as I understand it, um, almost intact, uh, coming down. Uh, and we think Space Command believes somewhere around the 8th of May. Um, it's too soon to know exactly where it's going to come down. So one of those three days, there is a chance that because this thing is so big, 22 tons is roughly one fifth of the size of the US Statue of Liberty, minus the base. So you've got big pieces of metal that might not burn up upon re-entry, like most things that fall from space do, and they could land. Most likely, scientists say, over the ocean. The Pacific Ocean is the biggest, so maybe there's a chance it'll come down here in the Indo-Pacific region or the Atlantic Ocean a body of water where the chances of hitting anybody are very slim. But what if the debris did come down in a densely populated area, like here in Hong Kong or New York? There have been incidents in the past where rockets have re-entered and pieces have hit areas with people. There was a village, a small one, that was hit with a 12 meter pipe a number of years back. No major damage or injuries there. But when you talk about another scenario, the worst case scenario, Sure, it can be pretty concerning. And what's also a little bit surprising and troubling about this is that they won't know where this thing's gonna hit until literally hours before impact because of the fast speeds that the debris is traveling. 18,000 miles. One hour can make the difference between an impact in one area or somewhere 18,000 miles away. The lesson that we all need to learn here is that these things happen. They're going to happen and it might happen more because China is going to be launching more large rockets like this as they work toward the completion of their space station by the end of 2022. And 2021 was supposed to be the year that everything got back to normal, right?